No niin, ja sitten vaan laitetaan harjoitus käyntiin. You're welcome. Hello. Yeah. You hear me okay? Well, you thought you got rid of me and here I am again. Okay, so different style, practical session this time. Again, one hour. It's just uh, so short to show you as many things as possible, but I will try my best. Uh, so you understood that um, a big part of our volleyball problems is the shoulder mobility and shoulder stability, and the way you can organize your core training so, uh, you, so you dissociate both uh, hips and shoulders. So that's mainly what I'm going to talk about uh, for this uh, practical session. So I understood you guys are, pr uh, are trying uh, things up, and you guys are the lazy ones. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. So um, I'm going to start with a, with a very simple exercise. With a f well, the simple exercise. With the most famous exercise. The one people love so much. I'm not ruining everything, no, I'm all right. Okay, the one people love so much, the bench press. The bench press is absolutely unspecific to volleyball. And yet, everywhere I go, no matter, what, no matter the level, uh, professional clubs, local uh, performance cell, no matter the age, everybody bench press. Thing is with bench press, it's a good way to become very strong in, in push. It's a good way, okay. If you think about the push just from the upper body, then it's a good way. Okay, let's stick, uh, for the sake of the argument, let's say, okay, we try to become very strong uh, pushing, good. Um, but the thing is, it's a terrible, um, a terrible uh, enemy for your shoulder, because you all know that the shoulder comes from the, sh stuff with the, sh the shoulder blades mobility, and if you put a vertical load into a large, a, a wide bench like this one, obviously, the shoulder blade gets locked and it blocks the whole system. So the more weight you apply vertically, the larger the bench and uh, the less you get efficiency in the shoulder. <coughs> so again, what I try to teach them is, guys, we don't want you to be uh, great powerlifters. I'm not uh, judging powerlifting, eh? let's make this uh, very clear. It's, uh, okay, the sport is like that. But we are not doing the powerlifting. We are doing strength and conditioning for volleyball or for whatever. So uh, starting from that, we need to take on board what is good for us and to leave aside what is not. That's all. It's no judgment. It's just a choice of pre prevention. Okay, so uh, if they really want to do the bench press, and they really want to do the bench press, please go for a, a, a narrow bench, as narrow as possible. Yeah, but I lift uh, much, much uh, lighter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We want you to lift as heavy as possible safely. Because we want you to become a better, vo a, a better volleyball player, not a better bencher. OK, so uh, narrow bench, as narrow as possible. Second point of uh, discussion is the grip. Because obviously, people, most of the time, because they want to be the uh, king of the heel, most of the time they grip as wide as possible to bench as heavy as possible. Okay, so the same again. We go much, much, much narrower for a much, much, much more comfortable shoulder. Okay, what we want is maximum mobility. Okay, if your maximum was 110 and so what? Now it's 90. Where's the problem? Okay, another discussion is whether or not I should bring my legs up to keep the back flat. What exactly are we afraid of? If I'm not overarching, what are we afraid of? If, the back, if my back keeps a consistent arch, a natural arch, and it doesn't change during the movement, there is no problem. There is no problem whatsoever. So keep the feet on the, on the floor strong, and if you want to rise it up, sorry, it's a bit uncomfortable, this one. If you want to rise it up, then do it. Okay, let's go then. Rise the legs up. 
And then we get our core training involved. OK, so the first exercise, the first exercise we're going to try to practice together is this one. OK, you're going to go for legs up like this. And you're going to try different, uh, different angle. You're going to block on the way down. You're going to dissociate and try to keep the balance. OK, you don't go too low, OK? As soon as you feel the conflict of shoulder, you come back. You're going to control on the way down, explode on the way up, play on the tempo. You're going to do some stator dynamic. And then once you master that, you're going to shift a little bit on the side like that and try to do it again. Oh. And then the other side. And you find out that all of a sudden, the bench press becomes a totally different exercise. It goes from powerlifting into strength and conditioning for sports. Yeah, shall we try that? OK, we've got three benches, so uh, maybe we use the, the entire room for that. Thank you. Okay, go on, legs up, legs up. Yeah, exactly. Now we're talking. Okay, careful with the bench because uh, I was uh, I was playing uh, I was I was uh, playing the show a little bit, but it's more difficult than it looks. So don't hesitate to be uh, to have somebody to spot because you might. Uh, fall over. OK, just make sure when you do the what we call the anatomical bench press, OK, this uh, repulsion here. Make sure you lower the, lower the shoulders every time. You don't want to shrug there. Don't want to shrug, otherwise you lose all your mobility. Okay, so relax a little bit the neck, shoulder blades down, shoulders back, chest up, and you control it all. So this, this is too wide. Too wide. Narrow it more, much more. You know, the grip, when, you, when we have the habit to be very strong in one, in one angle, we always stick to it naturally because we developed all the strengths in this specific angle. So it's going to be really hard to go narrow. But remember, no matter, the, no matter what the sport is, you never push this way. We never push anyone this way, OK? If we do the judo, you're going to be like this. If you push in rugby, you're going to be like this. If you throw a ball, you're going to be like this. Even in volleyball, we don't want people to be like this, to play. We want them to be there, to control. It's, we want the, the shoulder to be efficient. And in order to be efficient, the, the elbow has to be down. OK, while, we, while you go on the side with the legs, make sure the barbell remains parallel to the ground. And that, most of the time, you can't feel. You need somebody to tell you. So guys around, feed them back. Tell them if the, if the barbell is not uh, remaining parallel, you let them know.
Okay, sweet. Sorry, I gotta, I gotta rush it a little bit. Uh, maybe you, maybe you practice a little bit more later on. I'm very sorry because one hour is so short. I would love to do a full session with you guys, but I gotta carry on. All right. So, even like this, even like this, the exercise is not ideal. Okay. So we need always to reprogram, always to take a little bit of time to keep this. Uh, activation of the shoulders in between the sets and that's fantastic because we've got nothing else to do in between the sets okay we rest we talk we chat we relax let's use that let's use that to do some activation so very specific to volleyball uh, one type of activation sorry I use your arm say where you are you're really well seated we don't want to change that so we want this 90 degrees here okay all right 90 degrees I don't want to uh, put too much fatigue on him, okay? So it's going to be very short. It's just activation, all right? So you're just going to be tapping forward, backward, forward, backward. Come on. Don't, don't, don't. Fast, 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 fast. Go on. Fast, 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 fast. That's it. Okay, so you can tell he's very stiff. This is the first time he does it, okay? And so we want him to relax as much as possible, okay? So the more, the more we relax, the best. So we keep it short. We keep it short because we don't want any more fatigue on it. We just want some activation. Okay, so you're going to do it in pairs. Okay, you can do it uh, st stand up position or seated on the Swiss ball. It doesn't matter as long as the back is uh, straight and the chest is up. And you're going to just clack, 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 like that. Okay, make it very fast. Yeah, if you feel very comfortable, you close your eyes. Keep the elbows up, 90 degrees, chest up. Yeah, good boy. Okay, okay. I found myself two professionals. Can, you, can I use you, please? I'm going to stand on that because you're definitely not my, not my size. OK, step aside for me just a little bit. OK, be careful. When you do that, you don't want to create conflict. If we do prehab and we create conflict, as we say in France, we walk on the head. OK? We don't want that. We don't want him to be clacking like this. It's not good position for shoulder. We're doing exactly the opposite. We're breaking everything down. So make sure when, you, when you're the partner, make sure the, the elbow is up. We need 90 degrees. OK? And so when he's uh, very comfortable with that, we're going to ask him to close his eyes. Go on. Do it. Doom, 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 doom. So the next level is going to be to be moving forward. And he needs to keep his arm parallel to the ground, forward and backward. OK? And this is good activation. All right. So we keep it short, you see, because we don't want to create too much fatigue. The main exercise is obviously the, the, the bench press. We can use it as well in a proper reinforcement exercise, but that's not the point here. Okay, so that's the second level of training. The third one, harder, you ready for that? Yeah, good enough. So <laughs> I'm going to keep it very close, very narrow here. Come on. Boom, 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 boom. And then I'm going to open it. And he has to adapt. Okay, and then obviously we add a little bit of rotation. And we check on his elbow. OK, that's good enough. All right, thank you. All right, we try this one? Please. When did I start? When do I start? Uh, five o'clock. Five, five, ten, five, fifteen. OK, plenty of time. Yeah. Obviously, this is, uh, this is interactive. If anyone has a question or anything, you just let me know. I'll try to answer. Keep it low. Keep it low like that. Nah. A little bit lower. Like this. OK, now we're 90 degrees. Better. Good.
forgot to ask you. Uh, three discs of five kilos, or 2.5, just yeah, like 2.5. Three discs of two, three. Three discs of 2.5 kilos. For, for those ones, the small ones, it uh, doesn't matter. 2.5. Okay, okay. We, we, I, I know you got it now. Okay, great. So this is unlimited after that. You change the angle, you change, well, you know uh, as much as I do. Um, can I use you this time? Would you go for the sa very same exercise? So the bench press with the legs up. And always in order to make it safer for the shoulder, more relevant for different sports, Okay, a little bit narrower, please. Narrower, closer, closer. That's it. good, cool. We're gonna make sure he keeps his lats and uh, rotation uh, shoulders in a, in a proper activation of stabilization of shoulder, not in push. And in order to do that, we're gonna make it a bit more proprioceptive. I'm gonna slide this elastic into it like this, and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of tension here. Okay, go on. You do exactly the same exercise and you keep your shoulders uh, down. So what you're looking at when you're coaching or, or sporting this, you're just looking at his shoulders remaining low. If he shrugs in order to compensate, that's something you want to avoid. Okay, so here the idea obviously is the control. Okay, so this is not uh, a configuration we would use for uh, 90 kilos. Okay, it's just about controlling things. That's good. So once he's very, uh, very strong with that, keep, keep going. You're doing really well. Really? Yeah. Keep, going. <laughs> keep it up. So here, I'm going to just change a little bit the, the tension in one side and the other and make sure it doesn't disbalance his bar, it doesn't disbalance his shoulder. And this way, I can change during, you see, it's, the bar is shifting a little bit, but he compensates, he feels it, and he does, he does it really well. Good. All right, we try this one. So you've got more elastics in the, in the box over, over there. Thank you very much. Take it easy on the pool. It's just a gentle pool, eh? <laughs> That's great. Perfect. Fantastic. Perfect. Does it? Good activation, isn't it? Okay, the problem, you, the problem you've got is you're a little bit too high on your bench. Okay, you should have your, your head, a, well, that's it, on the edge there. Sorry for your bump, it might be less comfortable, but that's the side of the bench. And there, you want your legs as high as possible. Ooh, posterior chain, nice. Okay, remember we've got all the configuration, okay? You, you feel very confident keeping the legs in the middle. Now you can shift it on the side a little bit just to feel how it is with the, the elastic. Okay, don't go too low on your abdominals. Remember, it's a, it's a bench press, so you've got to go at the, at the base of your pectorals. You don't go any lower. Okay, same, same here. You don't go to the abdominals, okay? The target is just like a normal bench. The, the, we're not fighting against the elastic, okay? We're just adapting to it, but it doesn't, it, it cannot change the movement. 
Hei, jos tulee kysymyksiä tässä harjoituksen aikana, niin Saijan kanssa täällä ollaan mikrofonien kanssa. Mä voin tulla vaikka sinne katsomon puolelle ja Saija on tässä alhaalla, That's niin voi much. harjoituksen aikana kysyä. Yeah, just for, yeah. the, the yellow one is bigger than the other one. That's why. All right, all right. Sorry, I go, I go very fast on this. I'm sorry that everybody doesn't practice uh, as much as uh, you guys would want that, but I got loads to show you. Uh, okay. Uh, may I have your attention back, please? Okay. So this exercise I'm going to show you in a minute can be used just as much for mobility, just mobility training, as activation in between sets of bench, okay? So those are exercises. If we use in, uh, in between two bench sets, that will be uh, very short, just activation. If we use it to improve the shoulder mobility or stability, then I will use it just like I showed you in the presentation, after self-massage, after stretching, and then comes the activation. That could be it, okay? So for example, here, a, a very good exercise would be, so two options. Or I'm core dominant, and I want it to be a core exercise. I'm going to control it very high. I'm going to control the ball very high. Here, with, maybe with my head. Okay? So I'm going to crush the ball like this, press the ball like this, and this is much more core training. So you know all the rules, yeah? Keep the belly flat, control the hip, uh, lock the lock the pelvic floor, all that, all that you know, okay? Or I accept this is an exercise of mobility, and then I can arch the back, which is no problem here because I've got a Swiss ball protecting it, okay? There's no distal load, there's no vertical load. The, the, Swiss, ball is, the Swiss ball is okay, okay? So I just relax the back here, and I go 100% on the shoulders, okay? And the, the first exercise I'm going to show is just going to here squat forward and go in full extension there. Go back and full extension there. Okay, and every time I try to go a little bit lower with the two balls. There and there. If I'm if I've got so this itself could be a test. Because if when you do that, first you can't go lower, so you've got something to deal with. Uh, with the hips or with the, the ankle. But if, more clearly, if you go there and you can't go any lower, then you have a, a shoulder problem, definitely. More likely with a small pectoral. Okay, so there you can bounce a little bit before you come back. Or you can use a little bit heavier balls. Don't go too far on the, heavy, on the heavy ball because if the problem is not only stability but also strength, you might end up not straightening the, the, the arms, end up like this and not going back. Okay? So it's as heavy as possible for a controlled movement here that allows me to win a little bit of mobility. Yeah, we try this exercise. Cool, sweet. So the bench are free, so you can, the, the ones that missed the previous part, you can do a little bit on the bench, and the others you try with the um, medicine ball. Okay, keep, keep the arms as close as possible together. That's it, good. Great. Oh, uh, yeah, I can do. So my uh, friend here is using, the, uh, is using the disc, which is fine. You only lose the balance. You only lose the proprioceptive aspect of it. That's it. But for the flex passive flexibility, well, that's fine. Go a little bit higher on your, a little bit higher on your, on your ball. Uh, here we are. And straighten the, uh, straighten the arms.
All right. Remember not to spread the arms away. Keep the arms together. Okay. You try to keep it as close as possible so you localize everything on the shoulder. You don't want you don't want the pectorals to take all of it. And here the the arms struggle to straighten. Really try to go. Okay, so we've got loads of evolution to that. This exercise can, uh, because after, after a little while, you get the mobility back, you get, uh, you get the strength back, you need them to control. Please, can I have your attention for a second? There, evolution of this. So from here, instead of moving uh, backward to forward, I'm going to just control it all the way down and up, okay? So I can do it like this, and I can open on the side as well, okay? Like this. Once I master that, I can put a little bit more mobility into it. So I can go there and bring it back to me, like this, okay? Without letting the ball fall. So what you don't want here is a shoulder problem here going too far away from you. And you'll feel it. As soon as you go too far, there's a discomfort in the shoulder. So what you want is not just bringing the ball. You want to get the shoulder to bring back the ball. So the, the advice is to bring the shoulder and the shoulder blade back down. Okay? So it's all about range of motion here. So you're here. So again, huh, you can do it core version or relaxed version. Up to you. I do the relaxed one. Boom. And the shoulder goes back. Okay. Like this. And the shoulder goes back. If I keep shrugging here, if I keep shrugging here, I don't know what to do. Okay, I manage the ball. Cool. Well done. But I'm not working on my shoulder. Not so much. No, not exactly. You keep it like that. Because if you open the, the elbow, then you shift your, um, your bone forward, yeah. and you, you, you bring your, sh your shoulder into conflict position. And you feel it's very un uh, uncomfortable. So you keep it like this, and the shoulder goes back down. Very good. Whoopa. <laughs> okay, okay. You'll have a little bit of time because we, we go back to the bench now. Because remember how I build this? Those, sorry. Those are exercises, those are in-betweeners, okay? We can use them as uh, main exercises, but here, for this specific program, we use it as in-betweeners. So we go back to the, to the bench. I need a bencher. Would you do it? 
Uh, okay, we can take the, get the bar. So the final level of that, go on, push it up, please, for me. Thank you. Balance it, you ready? Okay, cool. So the final level of that would be obviously, and the legs up, please. Okay, so that's the absolute proprioceptive bench press you can have. Okay, looks like nothing. It's not. All right. And the uh, level plus plus is shift your legs on the side, please. Here we are. Sweet. Yeah, he's doing good, eh? Okay. I let you try this one. Great, thanks. I let you try this one. So I've got uh, two other discs here, one per bench. The other one, if you haven't practiced the uh, mobility on the Swiss ball, you can obviously continue that uh, while the others are benching. Big boys, five kilos. There you are. Okay, so obviously the one who spots has to feed him back. Tell him about his bar. Is it parallel to the ground or not? Make sure it keeps it parallel to the ground. Because again, if we create this balance, we don't do any good. So of course it's one set for one set. One set loaded on the left side, one set loaded on the right side. Always balance things. Yeah, you can do. Yeah, of course. Yeah, attach to the elastic and yeah, yeah sure. It's a bit, a bit harder. <laughs> so here there is a, a very strong compensation you see on the side. So you need to tell her, you need to tell her, watch out, because you're pushing far much on uh, your right hand than you do on your left hand. So you're over overcompensating it. And you, you can tell by the, the elbow position as well. Good. So remember, this is as much uh, push than it is core. So remember to activate the abdominals, the transversalis, the pelvic floor. Remember to, to involve the core into that, okay? Make it clever. Make it as clever as possible. Okay, straighten the, uh, straighten the arm though, okay, because you want, to isolate, you want to isolate the shoulder. So if you bend the arm a little bit, then you cheat with the, with the elbow. You want just it for the, for the shoulder. Higher, don't cross it, don't cheat. Go on, as high as you can. Fla yeah, flatten the belly as much as possible. <laughs> That's good. It's still a little bit wide. You could grab it, grab it uh, a little bit narrower. And you cheat because your grip is not the same on the right and the left. So that makes it easier. All right, I'll show you the last exercise because I can do it only with, uh, with one weight. So. Uh, You'll have to uh, you'll have to share the you'll have to share the balls and the, the previous exercise. So the last mobility exercise is gonna be uh, adding some rotations into it. Okay. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go. 
as low as possible here for a comfortable shoulder. And when I arrive here, I'm going to switch, switch my weight over here, like this. Okay. So make sure when you do that, because 2.5 kilos is a, li a little bit heavy. Normally we do it more with a, with a one kilo disc, or it's, that's more than enough. Okay. So what you want to do is always feel comfortable with the, with the, the shoulder. If at one point you feel it's, it's fighting its way out, you're too low. Okay, that means you're going too low here. Okay, so here you're just gonna turn at the last minute here and turn around like this. Okay, and give back mobility to the shoulder like that. Okay, but bear in mind, 2.5 kilo is a little bit too heavy. Okay, I just show you this for the, for the sake of it. So you can try it with nothing, but it's not the same. All right. And the others, of, uh, the others, obviously, you can keep uh, working on the medicine bolting. Yeah. Up to you. Depends if you do the core version. Best, best to have the f back fully extended. So there are many evolutions to this one. You can, go on your, you can go on your toes as well. Lift the heels up, the, the, the other way around, the heels up and on your toes. That's it. Yeah. So you, so you lose a little bit of balance and it makes uh, it a bit more proprioceptive. So the problem when you do it with, uh, with a ball like that is you can't let uh, the whole thing go. You have to be always in grip. So it doesn't relax the shoulder. So it doesn't work this way. OK, great. I don't spend much time on it because uh, it's not the ideal condition to work, uh, to work this one. But this way, you've got a full, uh, a full projection. All right. Ladies, can I have you back with me? For a second, yeah, yeah. Just stop what you're doing. We we change uh, we change part of exercise. So now, we've been working on stability and control of the shoulder. We've been doing this, connecting it to the rest of the body. We try to make uh, uh, the bench press more specific to uh, strength and conditioning needs. Well, I've been talking a lot about core training in coordination between. Um, shoulders and hips okay we need to be able to dissociate those so there are several exercises to do that and again this can be the mobility okay so if you target uh, for the ma self massage the um, the lower back or, or the the hip rotator uh, and then you stretch them if you want to then put some mobility into the into the program that could be it okay and uh, so from here, for example, the, the, this is a, an exercise I call the scorpion. So I'm going to start from a comfortable position here with my, uh, uh, with my quadriceps on the Swiss ball. Yeah. And the, the main advice here is to keep your shoulders as parallel as possible to the ground. So you can move a little bit, but the less possible. However, the hips will move on the side we shift on the side like this okay so sorry i'm gonna get rid of this shit.
Okay, use, your, use the, all the room. Pay attention to the weights and the barbells. Use all the room we've got. We've got plenty. Remember to bend the knee. The ball is here on the, on the quadriceps. Don't leave the ball too low on your knee. The ball is very much on your, on your quads. Here it's too low, so it's harder to keep the control. You need it on your quads. Here we are. Okay, so you can, you can see some of them are doing it really well. And some of them, they're struggling to go all the way around with the leg. And that's purely because when they're here, they keep the leg straight. So they lack of mobility because they don't use the, the flexion of the knee here. Okay, so let it go. Let the foot go on the side there. Okay? Go on. And globally, the hip mobility is good. It's good exercise, isn't it? And once you master it, it's quite pleasant to do as well. It's quite en enjoyable. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, sorry, again. I got to do quick because there's so much to see, so little time. So this is the mobility version of it. We've got a much more core version of the scorpions. If you put your foot on a ball instead of putting the quads, and there it's a killer for the for all the all the side muscles there. Okay, so you really have to be strong on the uh, tractus iliotibial, I'm not sure of the name in English, but whatever, the abductors of the hip there has to be controlled. Okay? There. So here you take much more time. Okay, you control it, come back. It's not about speed, it's about controlling it. There. For both of these uh, exercises, next step is to put some, uh, you know, some stripes of weight. Here, so you can get a little bit more flexibility as well on it. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, cheers, cheers. So, bear in mind, we're talking about core training, okay? There is a high price to mobility. There is a high price to mobility, it's the quality of the movement. Because if you just replicate a movement without caring about the form, then you're wasting your time or you're doing more arms than good. So, uh, for this, it's very advanced level of core training. Okay, so obviously I wouldn't start that right away. We can do it with young lads, no problem. But I wouldn't start by that. It's the final stage of the evolution I showed you uh, in the presentation, obviously. But I, I'm assuming that you guys know all about uh, core, normal core training. However, don't forget it on the way. Because here, if we've got this and this, we're losing our time. Okay, we're wasting so much time, and maybe we're going to injure people. Okay, so this, okay, drop the ball, go back to normal plank, side plank, shops, stuff like that. Once we've got that, okay, let's implement some instability. 
Okay, see if we shop with instability and stuff. All right, let's try the Scorpion again. Okay, take your time. Uh, cool. <coughs> so another another exercise. So you all know that's. Uh, oh no, sorry, I forgot one thing. So the because there is more more advance on that because once you've done once you've done that, there you want to go back there, there, there. And there you can put some speed into it. Shall we try this one? I would be a waste to forget this one, wasn't it? And what is really good is after a day of lecturing, you feel loose. It's fantastic. Yes, nearly there. Yeah, good. Can do on bench, can do on TRX. You can do on a bench, you can do on a TRX. Uh, you can do on a Bozu, you can do on anything really. Why not? Why not? Okay, that's great. People are having fun. Cool, cool. Okay, thank you. Okay, next exercise. Going fast. Sorry to, uh, sorry to be the fun stopper, but uh, we've got loads to uh, loads to see. So you all know this exercise, yeah? This group exercise. So you know you can do it on you like this, and you know also you can do it on the side like this, yeah? All right. If I do it now, a little bit. Uh, more on the ball, I'm going to be able to give more mobility into the movement. Okay, less core, that's easier in terms of core, but in terms of control and mobility, that's very interesting. And remember, the, 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 the key thing is to dissociate the hips and the shoulders. So I don't want to be moving every time my shoulders like this, okay? I need to be rock solid on the shoulders, however my hips, are very mobile. Okay, the best thing to do here is to do it without the shoes, so you don't get stuck with the ball or with the cable. All right, let's try this one. So again, it's not a matter of reps. It's a matter of control. It's a matter of fluidity. So the, 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 the better you are, the faster you go. Start on your, start on your shins. Start on your shins, not on your on your feet. Okay, just, just one thing, most of you guys, just listen to me uh, for just a minute, most of you guys, the problem you've got is you're far too, far too much on your feet. So when you roll all the way up, you lose the ball. That's why I said, start on your shins, start here, because this way when the ball comes to you, you've got enough of it to stay on the... Stay on it, okay? So don't start from, uh, from the feet, otherwise you don't have any range of motion. Okay? Okay, let's practice this a little bit more, and then I'll show you uh, another one. So for example here, we've got a good example that is working well, but it's working much better on the right side than on the left side. So that's, you see, you don't, sometimes you don't need a complex test 
to know that you need to work mobility on this side. Okay, last exercise for today. Last exercise for today, at least for volleyball, because after that I'll be uh, doing a bit of judo, uh, SNC. But for volleyball, we're gonna stay for, we're gonna stick to it for today. Okay, so this is very specific to uh, ballistic shoulders movement of attack. Okay, so this can work really well for anything really when we want to control the shoulders, but it's highly specific to volleyball, badminton, tennis, whatever. So here, I'm gonna go for the side here. Okay, so the, the point is, I need to keep this 90 degrees, okay? Because if I go on the side here, I'm not strong enough, okay? So I need to attack all the time from the side, la. Okay, and once I master it, once I master it, I can block, I can block and control. Yeah, so you need 90 degrees and you need speed. It's really hard to do it slow. Okay, you try, and when you fall, you learn. <laughs> Let's try it. Yeah, that's it. But uh, every time, you straighten the arm and you try to align it. Yeah, good. Good. Narrow the, narrow the feet. Yes, we nearly got it. Yeah, it's good. Getting there. Watch your... Health and safety, mate. You really should stay here, because if he falls, I don't want him to kill himself. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so one very important point is to always keep the two arms aligned. Okay, make it the Usain Bolt style. So if, if you've got one lower than the other, you might be in conflict. So you really want both of the arms to be aligned. Okay? Great. I'm very, 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 very sorry I can't spend much more time on it and coaching the technique and all that, but the idea is obviously to open windows and to maybe give some new perspective on training. Uh, so, up. Oh. Was I? <laughs> okay, um, I'm done for. I'm done for now. Have you got any questions? Are there any questions from the working group or from the lazy group? No. No question. Or too much question. Anyway, I'm here for today. Uh, I'll be here tomorrow as well. So I'm more than happy to discuss uh, over it. I'm passionate. I love, I love my job. So this is why I'm here, to share, exchange, talk. There is no, nothing to hide. So you come, you ask. And that will be a pleasure. Well, enjoy your rest, and thank you very much. Thank you.